Yes, regular season is not close. He's the MVP slam dunk, as they say. Look, um, you know how I feel about MVP in the regular season. If you watch the show, it's a ridiculous award. Two months are played in the postseason if you win the finals. No MVP ever comes from a non-playoff team. 50, more than 50% of the teams make the playoffs. Basketball is a sport where one player has an enormous impact. It's absurd that they give just a regular season. It should be the whole thing. Um, nevertheless, they do. And Giannis in a runaway. Look, Giannis Antetokounmpo was the best player in basketball in the regular season last year. Um, led the league in PER, which is not a perfect stat, but it, it, it factors in points, rebounds. Like, instead of me sitting here and going, he has 30 points, 13 and a half rebounds, almost six assists, over a steal, and over a block a game. Oh, my God. PER takes all of that into account. It's a good, quick thumbnail sketch. And um, if the season were to end today, Giannis would have the highest PER single season of all time. Higher than it would go Giannis one, then Wilt, Wilt, Jordan, LeBron in their best seasons like that. Wow. It's of all time. Okay. Th uh, those are hold all. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Defensively, he's a monster. A monster. Now, LeBron James has do been doing a great job and he deserves a lot of credit. The fact of the matter is, there are two top five players on the same team. Point any team in history with two legit top five players on the same team, they do great. Like, they, like oh my God, they're doing so great and LeBron's doing all this. Yeah, but any two top. Five players in the NBA playing at the same time. They're both legit top five. That team always does great. And LeBron's is doing great, and he deserves a lot of credit. He's a top five player. But Giannis is a top one player in the regular season. And by the way, also, like, a lot, the offense is completely built around him, and he's the best defensive player on the team. He's the MVP. Okay, uh, look, those are all great points. And Giannis is having a phenomenal season, just as he did a year ago. Uh, you're discrediting LeBron James and what he is doing in Los Angeles. Here's why. Talk, you, you earlier in this show, I believe, Max, talked about how the path uh, an Eastern Conference was easier if Kawhi Leonard was on the Raptors to win a championship. Well, it's easier for Giannis to get those numbers up, too, because he's playing in the Eastern Conference. In fact, the Western Conference is plus 28 games on the Eastern Conference so far this season. All right, looking at LeBron James, evolving and continuing to improve himself as he goes along. Last time a 35-year-old led the NBA in assists, he was Steve Nash. LeBron James looks a little bit different than Steve Nash as far as his body and the way that he plays and the way that he can control the game and dominate it in a variety of fashions. And yes, you have to have good players around you to get those numbers, no question. I'm not diminishing Anthony Davis and his role on this team. But a, a smart man once told me this about 35 seconds before we came to air. Analytics are a tool to determine value. Max Kellerman, I believe you told me that. I was like, who said that? All right. Real plus minus in the NBA, which is your overall value to your team's success and kind given of. the opponents. Kind of. Okay. LeBron is 35% higher than the next person on that list, who is Giannis. But LeBron is higher actually, on that list. Actually, that proves nothing. Because LeBron, when you have concentrated in two players, that's where the Lakers put all their resource. Each player, when each one of those two uber stars if you take them off the team will suffer significantly on a more balanced roster with only one superstar they're more able to afford but his this absence. factors in opponents and who you are playing as well and that goes back to my so original LeBron plays point tougher about there. lebron playing tougher competition night out night out, night in night out basis his level of efficiency and wow he's been shooting the ball this year everything that lebron Who's does better checks off Stephen A., who do you agree with? I'm listening to them. Let them go. Who, who's I'm better defensively, there. LeBron or Giannis? And, Le, and LeBron Giannis, Giannis has a better impact than the okay, defensive end. So before. Giannis is a better defensive player. And the schedule thing that you're talking about, LeBron's having a great season. His PER, just as a good thought, 25 is seven points, which is huge in PER. It's the difference between an average player and a real all-star is seven points You're not saying LeBron's Giannis. an average player, though. No, what I'm saying is the okay. difference between Giannis's PER and LeBron's is like the difference between an all-star right. and, and, and the rotation numbers piece. And the numbers, the and way that's you, just analytics. offense. Great, but the numbers and as far as the analytics go and how you look at it, as we just were talking about, I can take my numbers, which are legitimate numbers as well, that say he's 35% higher rate in why. plus minus. I explained why. Okay, and you can look at your numbers and you can explain why as far as numbers go. He's also having more opportunity to do it because he doesn't have a top five player around him that is also taking up numbers because as we saw last night, Anthony Davis went for 25 and 10 again last night. Yeah, but he has a lot of players who contribute. Believe it or not, um, you know, in, a, in about a month or so, um, I've got to go to MIT. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Darrell Morey has invited me. Uh, along with some of his cohorts have invited me to speak. I have no idea why they did not invite Max Kellerman. 
Um, it doesn't make any sense to me since he loves his analytics. And <laughs> I actually have two eyes, and I believe in the eye test being just as significant as the numbers, okay? Having said all of that, I must say, I actually agree with Max at this particular moment in time. I don't think that that may be the situation at the end. At the beginning of this season, I picked LeBron James to win the MVP award. I still think there's a chance because I think he's number two in the race right now. I just look at the Greek freak. I think he's been a model of consistency. I look at Milwaukee having the number one offense. We bragged about how Toronto has won 15 straight. We forget that. Milwaukee had, what was it, a 22 or it was a 21 22 game winning streak? They only have seven losses the on the whole season. They've got seven <laughs> losses on the whole season. They're the number one seed in the entire NBA. They're an elite defensive team. They've got trees out there. They've got trouble defending corner threes, but everything else, I'm sorry, they, I, I, I'm sorry, they defend corner threes, but everywhere else, the wings, the top of the key, you know, you might be able to get something off. But that's about it. When we look at Giannis and what he brings to the table, averaging 30 and 13, shooting better than 54% from the field. Not only is he shooting better from three-point range, six percentage points from 25 to 31% last year, from 25% last year to 31% this year, he's actually taking more than two threes per game this year than he was last year. So not only is the percentage going up, but the shot, the number of three-point attempts. So he's improving as a three-point shooter, believe it or not. So we've got to give credit where credit is due in that regard. And even though the, sus, the, you know, the questions about the Eastern Conference are legit. He's taking the six threes a game. Wait, no, that can't be. No, 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 right. no, 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 no. Sorry, that's LeBron. Close to five. Excuse four, four, me. Yeah, that's it's right. Like that's four right. And a, it's like close to the five, but he was only taking two so last year. He wants right. to go to LeBron. So he's, no, it's so he's, five. No, it's five. He's, he's taking five threes right. a game. That's, that's a lot of threes. Only five threes a game last year was two. So all I'm saying to you is when you take those things into consideration, every statistical category that matters, he improves in. Milwaukee is more formidable. They're clearly the number one seed no matter who they go up against. They're hellacious to deal with on both ends of the floor, and it's primarily because of him. No, the quite the the schedule in the West is obviously tougher than what he has to deal with in the East, but the East has gotten better. He's run roughshod through the Eastern Conference. He's run roughshod, as Milwaukee has, through the entire NBA. I can't ignore that well, reality, the and I can't ignore the fact that LeBron, two meetings against Kawhi, wasn't himself. A couple of meetings against Houston, wasn't himself. I mean, I'm looking at things like this. We don't say those kind of things about Sean, Giannis. Right. Le Giannis. Sean's is, argument. Is, 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 LeBron had a triple-double against Milwaukee. Sean's argument, your sure. argument is this, and, and this is the age-old, like, is value and, and best the same thing? If you take LeBron off the Lakers, they're cooked. If you take Giannis off the Bucks, actually they're five and zero without Giannis <laughs> because they have a very good, well balanced team. But that's penalizing Giannis for having a more well balanced team. The Lakers have all their resources in essentially two players. So of course LeBron has more value to that team because that's how they constructed it. But who's better this year? Who has more value, like in an absolute sense? If you put Hold on. Giannis is the last, best player in basketball point. this I year. I do remember LeBron with the three, with the triple double, with 21 points, like 11 rebounds, 12 assists, something like that. Giannis, that particular game, the uh -oh. same game, uh -oh. 34, 11, and 7. Mm. Let's not act like he didn't show up. So a little off his season averages. Usually he's <laughs> a little, a little better off. than that. Wait, <laughs> before we go to break, are we all in agreement that LeBron has more value to his team than, than Giannis does to the Bucks? Well, I will say this. I'm not I, sure that's something that's that, universal. Well, you know what? I think that, listen, if you want to make an argument on behalf of LeBron, which I think I suspect I'll be able to make at the end of the year, Milwaukee without Giannis is vying for a playoff berth. Mm -hmm. The Lakers without LeBron, even Let me with tell you Anthony what's a little Davis deceptive about team. that. There's a little deceptive Not about that is if you take them both off, you have to replace them with something. In other words, those resources would go somewhere else. And LeBron, if you scattered those resources to several players, Lakers would probably still make the playoffs. They have match. AD. It's but they're not, they're, not, they're not vying for the number one seed in the of Western Conference. Not. In of course not. Well, well, but, but, right. but don't Max, penalize Giannis also, Max, for being on a well-balanced team. Because the bottom line is the Lakers, the Lakers without LeBron James or the Pelicans with Anthony Davis. Right, sure. Period. Sure. All right, guys, Period. we got to go. We got to talk about Good another uh, great player in the NBA. Um, still to come. Did Kawhi miss his best shot at winning another title by leaving the red-hot Raptors? We'll debate it. Also, um,